I don't know why, but we still give girls dolls and we give boys to build uh, things to build. And this is horrible from on, on my, uh, uh, you know, from where I'm standing. Um, I want to give them a choice, by the way. I don't want to tell them, you know, you're not supposed to because being an artistic, it's, it's, it's important enough. But I want to give them a choice. And I think that at this age, that's the, that's the age to start from. Welcome to 20 Minute Leaders. Just sit back, relax, and learn from the leaders of today. It's a journey. Each one is different, unique, inspiring. Let's get started. This episode is powered by J Ventures, a community-driven VC fund in Silicon Valley, in partnership with Leomitech, sponsored by Homeward Ventures, Hippo Insurance, Opus Labs, Synergy Global, Hillel at Stanford, Leap, Birthright Excel, Serona Partners, and in media partnership with C-Tech. I am so excited for this episode. Meet Moran Leshambar, Vice President of Global Operations at Semperis, assigned to support the continued growth of Semperis' global organization. She has been the Chief of Staff of Izhar Shai in the Ministry of Science and Technology since 2020. Prior to this, she was the co-founder and CEO of the largest tech media brand in Israel, Geek Time, for 11 years. She also co-founded in 2011 the first startup accelerator in Israel, Venture Geeks, which successfully invested in pre-seed and seed and nurtured startups. She served as an instructor in the computers unit, Mamram, and she completed her law degree at the College of Management and has been accepted as an advocate by the Israeli Bar Association. Moran Leshenbar, welcome to 20 Minute Leaders. Thank you for joining me right now from Kibbutz Afikim, uh, yeah. but it's uh, temporary, but thank you for joining me anyways. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm it's, sure that uh, we'll have fun. We, we're going to have a ton of fun. Moran, I, I already have way more questions than we have time for. Uh, you've, you're such an integral part uh, of the Israel ecosystem in, in so many cool ways. And right before we started, I mentioned that, you know, I think one of the coolest things about the things that you've done is that you managed to both operate at a very high scale, very generic across the landscape of the ecosystem, whether it be as chief of staff with Izar Shai in, in, the, in the political scene or with the co-founder and CEO of Geek Time, one of the main news channels for tech ecosystem. But you also got to work really hands-on with companies, creating the first accelerator in Israel, I think back in 2011, yep. uh, and really working with pre-seed companies. And obviously today, as an operator role, as vice president within some Paris an amazing, amazing company. So, you know, all around such a balanced uh, yet amazing l- career. And, and I have to ask you, Moran, you know, if you're looking back at, at everything you've done, you know, wh- what part do you think you're playing in this ecosystem here? Where, where, what is, who is Moran here? So, uh, the, uh, first of all, it's, it's kind of neat that uh, this, uh, this role that I'm having in this ecosystem is uh, considered to be a, what is it, what the word that you were using? Like, uh, balanced? No, no, not balanced, but a g- geeky or fun or like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm making a, an impact and while I'm being very uh, neat and, and you know, I'm a geek and I was a nerd when I was young. So it wasn't very cool to be, uh, those kind of words, but now I think that uh, you know the now last the couple super of years. Humans. Come on, guys, we're superhumans, and I'm also a mother, so it makes me a super, super um, human. So uh, I think that uh, to answer your question, um, I think that it was life because eventually I'm a person that likes to be in the small details of things, uh, but on the other hand, I like to be in the small details of things of many things. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not that I chose my career, but my career chose me, uh, which, which sounds like uh, a cliche, but it wasn't. It was just, you know, how life uh, turned to be. And this is what happened. I met Yanni Feldman uh, by accident, by the way. He was looking for someone else. Uh, we started talking. And then we said, hey, I have some startup ideas. And he said, I have some startup ideas. And we were got thrown uh, uh, through many, many stairs uh, uh, with people that told us, guys, this, is, this will not happen. And then we wanted to understand who are the main characters in this ecosystem so we can approach them. It was 200, uh, 2000, uh, uh, 2009, if I'm not mistaken. 
And you know, there was, uh, there was Yossi Vardi in the Garage Geeks. And mm-hmm. so, you know, no one heard about startups. No one heard about startups. No, no one wrote about startups. So we started going to every event that we could, uh, we could, uh, you know, hear, hear about. And we started meeting people and it was legwork. And, and then we wanted to go to a CES. And if you want to go to CES, you have to pay lots of money or to be a journalist. Uh, ah. so we started a blog to have to, you know, that, that's just, that's a real story of, of how news geek or geek time started. So I had started no writing. idea. Yeah. We started writing and then Yaniv flew to a CES and I was very mad with him because we had like tons of, of, of posts to write. about uh, many different things. And he was like, no, I'm going to see yes. And it, it was a, a very hard work. Only later on, we understood how hard it is to be in these events, like three days in a row and you do not sleep and you do not eat and you just write or meet people. And this is how it all started. And we became good friends. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is, that, that's, the real, that's the real truth behind uh, uh, News Geek, which turned to be Geek Time. Um, We all looked for, you know, we looked up to uh, TechCrunch and the other media outlets in the, in the U.S. And eventually we started this one in, in Israel, in Hebrew. And we got like so, uh, this, uh, you know, it, it wasn't disrespectful, but it was like a bit cynical uh, reactions of another, another website. Why in Hebrew, every entrepreneur, you know, reads in English, speaks in English. Why do you need it? Who needs it? Who, is it? Who will be interested in it? And, you know, as, as the entrepreneurs we are, we do not listen. <laughs> and we continue to do what we like to do. And, uh, and, and that's what happened. And by the way, Microsoft were the first one who um, put money on advertising in, in USD because we had like 1,000 users per month. That was the beginning. <laughs> and it was Amazing. great. It was great. Um, and then what happened is that uh, our first investor, which is, again, by accident, he approached us via LinkedIn. Um, he, was my, he is my father's cousin. And the last time I saw him before he invested in us was when I was three years old and we played marbles together. And he wrote me like, hi, Moran, I see that you have like News Geek and I was uh, interested in, uh, in investing in Israeli companies. What can we do? And a month later, we had a, our first investor. Um, Incredible. And one year later, we had our first accelerator because he came to us and said, look, guys, Look at why, uh, what it was, uh, Y Combinator or the other one. I'm, I'm not even sure. And he said, look, we, we have to have this kind of uh, accelerator in Israel. You've got to do that. And we said, okay, but we're only like, we were like five people or seven people in the company. And we, hired, we uh, rented the floor above us in Petah Tikva. And we've uh, raised more money to invest. And we invested in five companies. No one knew what an accelerator is. We had like negotiations, funny negotiations with people. And, but it, you know, it happened. So I don't know. The, the, as I said, it was life. I didn't choose it. It, it, it just happened. No, but, um, I, but I think, Moran, if, if, I'm, if I allow myself to draw a pattern and, and the things that you've told me until now, a major pattern here is the fact that you took opportunities and you embraced them and you ran with them. Yeah, so far, throughout the stories, you're describing opportunities that came to you, whether it's people approaching you or opportunities that are, or new information that, that was open to you. And then your immediate response is, okay, yeah. let's do it. Let's roll with it. Yeah, I think that uh, I like to imagine things. And when I, you know, I imagined how it would be uh, having a media outlet and I imagined how it would be to invest in companies and, and help them. You know, by the way, it was a huge mistake because we, we said, we thought that it was, it would be an easy task. Like we'll invest the money, they'll be uh, upstairs and, you know, uh, they'll work. Um, we almost lost the company. our company, NewsGeek, because we had to invest so much time in, in the five new companies that were forming. And we didn't know that, you know, it was like, it's, 
we just started and okay we need to help them with the presentations and what to tell investors and with their pitch and with their products and with their problems and you know pre-seed is like a huge headache and and it was first timers it wasn't like a, and, and it's funny because the people that are now if i'll tell you the names and i will not tell you the names they have like major roles in major companies this is amazing what happened with them and and I'm happy to be there when, when they were so young and it's a relationship that would last uh, forever. It's That's all about incredible. relationships. So then you decide to do something a little different and work with the, the amazing Izar Shai as I chief didn't of staff. Decide. I didn't decide that. <laughs> I wanted to take some time off uh, after leaving uh, uh, Geek Town because I, I, I was there like for 11 years. So I said, okay, I'll wait a bit. I'll take a few months off. I'm entitled to do it. I want a, I want a vacation. And like uh, two weeks in, um, I'll tell you the story. It's a funny story because I was on my way to, to, uh, to take a shower. And I got a, call, a phone call from Izal. And it said, like, Izal shy. And I'm like, I'm telling my, my, uh, uh, my wife, I, I was telling her, like, Look, it's Izar, and, and she said like she was laughing and saying, "Oh, maybe he wants to, you know, to suggest something in politics." And I was like, mm, "No politics for me, thank you." And I was answering the phone, and he started by saying, "Look, da da da," and I'm, I'm I, and I'm joining the the government, and I'm searching for a chief of staff, and I thought about you. And he explained about the role a bit, and I was listening. But as, as I told you before, I was on my way to, to take a shower. And he finished to describe the, the position. And, and I'm like, Is that, can I call you back? I'm like, I, I'll take a shower, and, and I'll call you back, okay? I, can, <laughs> I, can, I, I need to digest that. And I called back, and I heard some more. And I told him, well, when do you need an answer? And he said, like, tomorrow morning. So I took the job and oh my God. we worked together and it was... Wait, 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 Moan, you, you can't skip over the, the most important piece here. What? what happened from the moment he, he told you tomorrow morning to, to the decision making? You were on a vacation or at least mentally you were prepared for a vacation <laughs> after 11 years of really, really hard work creating one of the most amazing media outlets in Israel. It can't be a simple decision to jump into <laughs> politics, which is the least, you know, calm, uh, calm thing you can do. This is ent entrepreneurship at the end of the day. It's like taking risk and doing stuff like because it feels right. And I heard a lot about him. He never invested in, in me, by the way. He said no to, to investments that I, that I offer. Um, and... I heard that he was an amazing man and he sounded amazing. And I said, look, it's an opportunity to be, to, to, to be a more influence and influence on really, uh, on what's going on in the high tech industry. And in the, we were supposed to do that, right? It was the, the, the ministry of science and technology. Eventually we ended up doing uh, Corona related stuff because he's out took a major role in the, in the, uh, Corona cabinet. So, and then I, you know, I, I took all my knowledge and we started working in with startups and with, uh, with new ventures and with apps. And I, I use all my connections to assist people, um, in Israel. The impact is, the, the impact was, was huge and it was an amazing experience. And I worked 24 hours a day, uh, and night and Shabbat and, and it, it never stops. And, and then uh, I said again, look, um, I need to rest a bit. Uh, I'm entitled to. And then in Shabbat morning, I got a phone call from uh, Mickey, which is the CEO of St. Paris. What's up, Moan? And I'm like, oh, what's up? Like we are friends like long, 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 long ago, uh, uh, since a long ago. And I said, oh, great. What's up with you? And we were sending pictures of our kids because he's uh, in New Jersey and I'm in Israel. And then he started talking a bit more uh, about what's going on with some Paris, et cetera. And, and then I said, look, are, are you offering me something? Are, are we talking about anything in particular? And <laughs> Your said, senses uh, are, are still sharp. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you know, yeah, yeah. Let, and I said, okay, let, let's not make it a, a phone call for a, for a, a Shabbat morning. And let's, let's talk a bit more later. 
And this is how that happened. Uh, once again, this is, I think it's about seizing opportunities that, that feels right. I, I'm a big believer in intuition and I'm a big believer in doing stuff. So it was impact here uh, with what we're doing today because we have a, lot, a major impact on, on the economy of the global economy eventually. And it was impact in the Israeli ecosystem with Geek Time, and it was impact in, uh, on Israel in, in general with, with Izar. And I believe that I'm drawn to these kind of roles eventually. Working in government, or not in government, but working in the political arena, yeah. it, it's different from working with pre-seed companies. Definitely. And- Definitely. How do you adapt? How do you, what, what mental shifts did you have to do in order to still be you content, need, be innovative, be an entrepreneur in a new organization? Yeah. So, you need, first of all, when you work with a minister that is uh, in his head is still uh, in high tech, it's easier, I must say, because we, we get each other. And I think that it was, uh, you know, that leaders, this is about being a leader. Uh, leaders are all about making other people. Uh, inspired by you, by, by yourself and, 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 you know, getting them to do stuff, not because you tell them they need to do it, because they believe they, they should do it. And this is politics eventually, and this is what we did there, and this is what we thought that is good for Israel, and this is how it happened. The, the minute that I got there, uh, my major role was to have this whole office and all this... Um, you know, amazing people. There are amazing people in the government, by the way. And it was making them all sure that we are going in the right path, that we are doing good things um, and have them join us Uh, and not just tell them like, I'm I'm not a leader that is like, uh, you have to do it because no, if you think different, tell me, I'm, I'm listening. I listen. And, you know, one of the questions that I'm being asked uh, uh, is is uh, is what I, I what I believe in. I believe in making mistakes, and I believe in uh, learning from mistakes, and I believe in uh, truth, and I believe in honesty. The, the, these are the, the the major things that lead me uh, in what I do. So Beautiful. I think that's the that's the this is how it happens. I don't I don't know how to to describe it. Fast forward to today, you're sure. working with some Paris again now as a in a company role as vice president within you know and looking at operations and globally. What what yeah. is your role and and what what challenges do you come up do you do you come to solve here? So do you, do you know the fact that there are roles that uh, it all depends on uh, how how do you make them and what impact do you want to make? Once again, it's a global role. It has impact on the on the, the the company as a whole, we were growing from uh, 35 people to more than 200, 210 people like in, in, in two years. This is a, a, an amazing growth and not just in, in, uh, in people's growth. We are also growing with revenues, which is amazing, but you need to have a company that can support it, this growth. And this is where the role uh, comes into place, is having the right platforms, is having the right processes is having the right people uh, that will do it. And this is, uh, this is eventually my role. It's, like, it's, it's a bit like a, a COO role, which is doing what everyone else is not doing. You know, you, you know that the, 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 yep. the difference. So it's a bit the same. And I'm working with very, like uh, this, our COO, uh, Sharon Vardy, I look very highly uh, uh, of him, amazing person to learn from, and that's the major thing that uh, I I learn a lot, I do a lot, I I have a big impact, and this is what leads me. If there is something that I would ask you now that you know is in your heart that you want to do in this ecosystem, something that either is troubling you, because I have the privilege of asking now somebody who's seen so much of it and you've been an active part in, in so much of the ecosystem. So what if you had to choose right now one or two things to tackle in the ecosystem, what, what would they be? So it's easy, <laughs> easy, you know, it, it's not being done. 
getting more young girls involved in this ecosystem. And when I say young is in kindergarten, because I don't believe that it starts later, it starts there. It starts when you have to, you know, they put you and you choose a doll or something to build. And we have the, we, I don't know why, but we still give girls dolls and we give boys to build uh, things to build. And this is horrible from on, on my, uh, uh, you know, from where I'm standing. Um, I want to give them a choice, by the way. I don't want to tell them, you know, you're not supposed to, because being an artistic, it's, it's, it's important enough. But I want to give them a choice. And I think that at this age, that's the, that's the age to start from. Um, so this is the first day. And I said, when I'll be in pension, uh, that's what I'll do. I'll go from a kindergarten to, kin- to kindergarten and I speak to, I'll speak to young, uh, girls and their parents on, 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 on how to choose right and, and give them the choice. That's what beautiful. I want to do. Moran. It's not that beautiful. Uh, it's life. Uh, I'm Moran, sorry. I have to I'm, say that I, this I was, uh, Insanely, insanely inspiring. It was uh, not just the last ten uh, minutes, but but just your the, your perspective on your career and how you're making decisions. And it's not just intuition and just saying yes to everything. it's it's being open to these opportunities and and thinking about them very, very thoughtfully uh, and you know t- putting aside perhaps preconceived notions. And I guess if I would ask you if you ever thought that you would go into politics, Uh, when you were in a uh, gig time, <laughs> probably the answer would be no, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. But I but was offered happened. a few times because, because eventually people, people know me, but uh, it's not, that's not the, the right uh, uh, reason to go to, to politics. You go to politics when you have the opportunity to make a difference. And I'm not saying that I will not go, will not go back there, but it, it will take a few years. Uh, Moran, I really appreciate you coming here. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the amazing impact you've had on our ecosystem uh, and the impact that you'll continue making. Uh, and stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak here and uh, you to stay healthy. That's the most important thing. Everything else is like a bonus. <laughs>